You can buy fancy keyboards with screens on them, but they are either expensive or they only show what the manufacturer lets you. I wanted something different. My own keyboard dashboard that shows exactly what I care about, like my YouTube channel stats. And this unusual long display from Lilygo looked like it was made for the job. Stick around if this interests you. For this project, I am using the T-Display S3 Long from Lilygo. It has a 3.4 inch LCD display with touch and it runs on an ESP32 S3 which makes it incredibly easy to program using the Arduino IDE. I have linked the project files and code in the description. You can just download them and get started. So when I first started building this dashboard, I knew I didn't want it to be just a static screen. I wanted it to feel like a mini control center for my desk with multiple sections that I could tap through. So the main page is split into four panels. The first one is YouTube stats. On the home screen, it shows the subscriber count. Tapping it opens up a detailed page with subscribers, video count and watch time. You can tap anywhere to exit. The next one is weather. The main screen shows the current temperature and the respective icon. But opening it gives you the full forecast with humidity, wind speed and more details. Then there is a timer panel. It is a simple timer. I use it as a quick focus timer but you can also use it as a stopwatch. And finally a little status box. It shows if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you are connected, it will show the name of the Wi-Fi network and the last updated time plus a force refresh button. You can click on this button to refresh the data. But by default, the data refreshes every five minutes because the APIs we are using have limits. So be careful not to refresh too often. I designed the UI in Easy Studio. It's open source and available on GitHub. If you want to make changes to the UI, install Easy Studio and download the project files from the TikTok is GitHub. This is the UI design. There are four screens, one for the main screen and one each for the detailed views. And there are placeholder labels on all screens that are updated after the data is received from the servers. All the weather icons are also stored locally. You can replace these icons if you want. Just make sure that you maintain the image resolution and file names. If you are curious about the design process, here's a quick preview of how I made some parts of the design. Once done, I can export this and open the Arduino project. The Arduino code is also available on GitHub. Once you have the Arduino project open, we can install the necessary libraries. The UI code depends on the LVGL library. So install the LVGL library from the library manager. This project can only run on version 8 of LVGL. So install the latest version and at this time that's 8.11. And from the downloaded project files, you need to copy the LV configuration file that is LVCONF file into your Arduino libraries folder. That's it for the LVGL setup. And as you can see, the project has multiple files. 
it has this main Arduino code and this is the driver for the display. It also has the touch driver inside it. The rest of the files are generated by EZ Studio for LVGL. The ESP32 is pulling data directly from free APIs. For the YouTube stats, it uses the YouTube data API. For weather, it fetches data from open weather map. Both these require API keys, but they are free. And I'll show you how to get them. First, let's get the YouTube API. Head over to console.cloud.google.com. Then click on create a project and create a new project. After that, open the menu and go to the APIs and services section. Click on enable APIs. Search for YouTube and select the YouTube Data API V3 and enable it. Now go to the Credentials tab and click Create Credentials API Key. Give a name for the API key and create it. Once created, you can copy and save it somewhere. Next, go to openweathermap.org and sign in or create an account. Then go to the API page, link in the description and generate an API key. Save this API key as well. And now head over to the Arduino IDE. Go to the user data section of the code and here paste the weather API key and the location data for the weather. You can use any map service like Google Maps to get the latitude and longitude for your location. Next, enter the YouTube API key here and the ID of the channel that you want the stats for. And enter your Wi-Fi details here. And this is the interval between the data update. 300 is five minutes. That's a relatively safe interval for both the APIs. You can make this lower or higher according to your need. To upload the code to the display, we need to make some changes to the upload options. After plugging in the display to your computer, set the following options under the tools menu. Board as ESP32 S3 dev module, and select the respective COM port, USB on CDC on boot as enabled. Set flash size as 16 MB. Set the partition scheme as huge app. Set the PS RAM as OPI PS RAM. Now this code is ready to upload. And to attach the display to the keyboard, I added a small piece of metal and a small magnet to the back of the display. So they just snap together. I'll probably keep adding mini apps to mine. And if you have got ideas for widgets, drop them in the comments. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.